How's it going? We are back with another awesome reaction video. This time is going to be another one on Belgium and it's the beer culture in Belgium. And that's literally the title of the video is beer culture in Belgium. And the channel is UNESCO and the links to this original video will be in the description section down below as always. So let's check it out. Beer culture in Belgium right here on the coolest channel on YouTube is Charlie Vest. Belgium is one of Western Europe's smaller countries. Yet it produces over 1,500 beers, most of them the so-called special or craft beers. The art of brewing, in all its diversity and richness, is widely appreciated by people all over the country as part of their heritage and culture. This beer culture brings people together and contributes to their sense of identity. The great Belgian brewing diversity is the result of a long tradition and wide network of artisanal breweries. The ongoing fertile interaction between brewers and knowledgeable beer lovers, and the absence of restricting regulations in the well, that's a lot of barrels. brewers and knowledgeable beer lovers, and the absence. Okay, that looks like the bottom of a damn boat back in the day, like the 1600s, 1300s or something, and they're on the bottom of like a pirate ship, is what it looks like. That's cool. All right, so lack of regulation, as I was saying. ...of restricting regulations in the use of ingredients, make sure this tradition of diversity okay. is as thriving today as it has been before. Many brewers in Belgium try to use local products, and many breweries have an important impact on economic and social life, including festive events, in villages and towns all over the country. Belgian beers contain a wide variety of herbs and other ingredients that may be added during the brewing process. But just as crucial to the diversity of their beer culture is the use of four different fermentation types and the many different brewing processes. I actually uh, got some Leffe beer from Belgium. Um, not from Belgium, I got it here, but it's imported from Belgium. Uh, Leffe, Leffe Brown. It's really, really good. And the other one was like a Leffe Braun, uh, Blonde. Yeah, Blonde Ale. Those are pretty good. This is the only country where you can find the four fermentation processes. This is interesting. C'est le seul pays dans lequel on va retrouver les quatre types de fermentation qui existent. Il s'agit donc de la fermentation basse, low fermentation, pils avec ce genre de technique de fermentation, loggers and pilsners, fermentation yeah. haute. On va travailler avec des levures classiques de la plupart des bières spéciales. Et Special alors on a beers. un type de fermentation tout à fait unique, euh, qui est la fermentation spontanée. On a aussi un Wild. type de fermentation tout à fait particulier, tout à fait unique on appelle la fermentation mixte. Là, ça va donner des bières d'une très très grande complexité. Il y a juste un pays où tous ces styles sont en train de faire. Et aussi, la combinaison de ces styles a fait que c'est une grande grande palette de spéciales bières. Tout ça, et le fait que il y a beaucoup de petites brûlées avec des liens locales ou des liens locales, ont fait une abondance de bières traditionnelles et de bières spéciales spéciales bières. Ik denk dat er overal bij water zijn alle bieren gebrouwen worden. Maar natuurlijk, in België zijn we eigenlijk al heel lang met dit soort dingen bezig. Al heel lang aan het proberen. Mensen die dat thuis brouwen, kleine brouwerijken die op een start worden. Nice. Beer culture in Belgium is intense. It's a part of everyday life. No festive event is complete without it. No debate on its taste is ever fully settled. And any occasion is a good one to brew a special beer. Vele brouwers vinden het natuurlijk fijn om te experimenteren en oh, yeah. uh, een nieuwjaarsbier maken of paasbier bijvoorbeeld. Dat is de uitgelezen moment om eens iets te proberen met een nieuwe hop, met een nieuwe gerstvarieteit, met uh, een andere gist. En soms passen ze dan hun gewoon bier na de feestperiode een klein beetje aan om die nieuwe verworven technologie of die andere gist dan toe te passen in hun bestaand bier. Nice. Yeah, I actually have a beer poster. Over here. It's like a puzzle poster, but it's like called Beers of the World. Um, there's a few of them on there. Stella Artis is on there. That's Belgium. I actually did try some of that the other day. Um, it's pretty decent. And then, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else in Belgium on there or not, but it's there for you guys to look at. Pause the video and check it out if you want. I like to ramble, so that's what you're here for, right? Technology of the other gist on to the person in your bestand beer. People discuss beer and aspects of their beer culture during dinner parties, when meeting with friends, or on special occasions. We met the friendly group, we koken 
Ja. Yeah. Heel graag natuur, omdat er heel veel smaken. Het is heel, een heel breed segment van smaken. Van zuur, bitter, uh, zoet, uh, ander kleur, uh, blond bier, bruin bier. Dus like dark je een palet dat je mee kunt koken, waar je heel veel sausen mee kan uh, doen smaken. En daarom koop je heel graag dat bier. More and more people okay. are deeply interested in beer culture start brewing at home and even follow courses to become an acknowledged beer expert, a so-called zythologist. Het belangrijkste vind ik echt dat je de smaken gaat proeven. Een zytoloog is een bierkenner. Zytos is eigenlijk oud Grieks voor bier of moutpapje. Dat is er zo wat van afgeleid. Betekent eigenlijk ja, een biergeleerde, als je het zo kunt uitleggen. Nice. En ik vind het vooral een zo'n mooi product. In die zin, um, ik ken een bier, het straalt gezelligheid uit. Uh, het is eigenlijk een zeer volkse drank. Het is ook wel een geraffineerde drank. Het is ook wel een ambacht. Er komt heel veel bij te kijken, dat wij een, een mooi Belgisch bier kunnen creëren. That is awesome. I would love to be able to brew my own beer. Um, I wonder what that would involve. Yeah, because there's so many, so many different, I mean, there's like thousands of different kinds of beer on this planet with all the different kinds of flavors. It's kind of like wine. There's just a different variety, different flavor for everybody. That's awesome. I might check into that at some point, get a little home brew kit going. That'd be cool. Cooking with beer is another tradition that goes way back. I do for that. For centuries, Belgian beer has elevated many dishes from ordinary to spectacular. <laughs> this too is a tradition that keeps on evolving. Cuisiner à la bière, c'est une tradition depuis des siècles, donc. Hein. La carbonate et le lapin étaient normalement marinés dans la bière, un peu comme les Français, eux, ils marinaient dans le vin. Mais il n'y a pas que la carbonate. Je fais tout à la bière. Hein. Je peux commencer par le foie gras à la Rochefort, vinaigrette à l'Orval, les anguilles. Dernièrement, j'ai travaillé de la gueuse, donc euh, je crois well, que okay. cuisiner à l'Orval. Oui, we, we gotta look at these foods again. Les Français, eux, ils marinaient dans le vin, mais il n'y a pas que la carbonate. Hein. Je fais tout à la bière. Hein. Je peux commencer par le foie gras. À la what we got here is halfway transparent where I paused it, but okay, so it looks like uh, this is foie gras. I don't know what that means. It looks good. It looks kind of like pork. I want to say it. I want to say it's pork, judging by the color of it. Could be lamb or something, I guess. I don't really know. I don't eat a lot of lamb with some sauce I made out of the beer, I'm assuming. Nice, nice. Oh, and then we got some stew. They probably just flavored up the soup with the beer. Vinaigrette à l'Orval. Vinaigrette. That's vinegar. I know that word. Bière, hein? Je peux commencer par le foie gras à la Rochefort. Vinaigrette à Boom. Okay, with a big ass sausage on there. Mmm. I don't know what Oval is. Oh, an eel. I don't know about eel. I've never had eel. I do like some some types of fish. I don't know about eel though. Val. Les anguilles. What was this one? Yeah, je peux commencer par I'm, a, I'm being annoying, huh, guys? Vinaigrette à l'Orval. Bear with me here. Boom. Lasagne, he says. That looks kind of good. Some shrimps on there, it looks like. Mm-hmm. I do like some shrimp. Looks kind of like maybe some mashed potatoes. I don't know. Guy, dernièrement. Okay, and then there we got some, some beef, it looks like, with more mashed potatoes. Yum. And then, I don't know what that is either, but again, some more mashed potatoes. A lot of the same kind of stuff, but just kind of just slightly variated, huh? Donc, uh, je crois que cuisiner à la bière, c'est quelque chose d'essentiel. Tradition, and that includes constant innovation, has an important impact on quality. It makes for a unique setting in which most Belgian beers are brewed. Brewers all over Belgium are the bearers of a huge living heritage. Their knowledge and skills are often passed on in and amongst breweries and in families. You know, and then you got like American beer. Um, I looked it up online because, you know, like before I would just drink like just regular beer. Um, regular, like, it, for, you know, for me, like domestic American, you know, USA beer. Um, I never really branched out as far as trying to try out a lot of different flavors. Well then, you know, doing all these videos and stuff like that and reactions to different countries, everybody keeps saying like, you know, you need to check out some Belgium beer. And that's what I was doing. You know, I was going to the store trying to find Belgian beer and I found that Lefe. And I do like a good dark beer. 
And I tell you what, man, that Lefe is good. Really, really good. And it's a lot stronger too, because like Bud Light, I think the uh, percentage is like only three and a half percent, which I, I'm not a Bud Light fan myself. I'm just base. I'm just comparing it to Bud Light because that's the most sold beer um, here in the USA. So I personally like PBR, which is Pabst Blue Ribbon. Uh, you can see it here on the thing actually right there. But, uh, anyways, three and a half percent, right. Is what you got here, I think is the average. And then that left a Brown is like six and a half percent. So it's almost twice as strong, um, but it's really, really good. It's really, really dark, really thick, really Brown, really delicious. So yeah, back to the video, I guess. Het unieke is dat Belgische bieren heel divers zijn. En die bieren hebben allemaal een unieke geschiedenis. Want heel veel recepten hebben ook een, een hele geschiedenis natuurlijk. En dat maakt het eigenlijk heel uniek. En fait, on s'est basé pour créer les recettes de, de Valdieu sur une recette qu'on a retrouvée dans l'abbaye. Par contre, c'est clair que depuis des siècles, les méthodes de travail ont été bien améliorées. Et donc forcément, ça change sur le goût, mais pour, pour un mieux. Quoi. Il faut s'adapter aussi euh, au nouveau goût des... Now I wonder, they say that they found the recipe, old recipe in the Abbey. How old is this recipe? I wonder, I wonder if they even know. The consumer, in function of the time that There are also formal education programs at different levels. Smaller breweries often come together to share knowledge and experience. Some of them also call upon testing breweries or specialized laboratories. Het is zo dat de brouwers allemaal een goede band hebben met elkaar. Dat zeg ik toch bijna allemaal. En we proberen daar effectief wel een beetje een link te zijn. Het is zo dat ik met al die verschillende brouwingenieurs aan tafel zit. En er zijn ook regelmatig brouwers die meekomen en brouwen met ons. En voornamelijk dan in de proefbrouwerij door nieuwe proefbrouwsels te gaan maken. Met nieuwe ideeën, met nieuwe grondstoffen. Om eigenlijk ja, nieuwe producten met een, met een toegevoegde waarde te creëren. Many Belgian brewers are concerned with the environment and invest in sustainable ways to keep brewing their beer. Belgian beer brewing monks, known for their trappists, are finding new ways to minimize their ecological monks, known for their trappists. Trappists, I keep seeing that in the comment section um, on my videos when they're talking about Belgian beer, saying like the trappist monks and stuff like that, so I didn't know how it was pronounced. So trappists, okay. Are finding new ways to minimize their ecological footprint. Depuis les origines, Chimay fait attention à l'environnement et évidemment. Chimay. I've heard about Chimay. I don't know if I can get that here in America or not, but I'm going to try to look for it. I keep seeing that uh, recommended as well. Print. Depuis les origines, Chimay fait attention à l'environnement et évidemment, l'ingrédient principal d'une bière est l'eau et donc tout est protégé autour de Chimay pour que l'eau soit la plus pure possible. Le plus simple des exemples, c'est que toute l'agriculture autour de l'abbaye est géré de manière biologique, donc aucun pesticide, aucun engrais chimique ne rentre dans le sol et donc dans la nappe phréatique. Au-delà de ça, par exemple, dans la salle de brassage, on récupère toute la chaleur de la cuve d'ébullition pour pouvoir chauffer l'abbaye dans sa totalité. En dehors de ça, il y a aussi des panneaux photovoltaïques, plusieurs centaines de mètres carrés, donc tout ça va apporter une, une meilleure efficience énergétique et également une diminution de notre production de CO2. All right, so I'm assuming they are in the southern part of Belgium. Uh, just based on the fact that it sounds like he's speaking French. So I wonder if there's like, what's, is there a big difference in beer culture between what is it? The Wallonians, right? Walloons, something like that in Southern Belgium that speaks French. And then you got the Flanders, uh, that speaks Dutch. Now, is there a difference in the beer culture? I wonder, put that down in the comments section. Let me know. Sustainable brewing also means contributing to the viability of local communities, another important aspect of our beer culture. It also includes producing table beers that are low in alcohol and many types of beer without alcohol. Justement, l'identité locale est bien représentative au niveau de nos produits puisque on va justement faire pour notre grand village de Hombourg, on parle quand même de 1200 habitants, donc quelque chose de très petit. On va faire deux bières qui vont expliquer un petit peu euh, l'historique de notre village qui est bien plus, plus important, en tout cas plus, plus important dans le temps que notre petite brasserie finalement. Pour nous, notre présence à Bruxelles est vraiment essentielle. Et ça a donné lieu à toute une série de noms de bières et toute une imagerie. Et on remarque que dans les cafés, il y a une relation assez personnelle qui s'est liée entre les Bruxellois et, et nos bières et ça, ça, ça nous fait vraiment très 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 plaisir. 
In okay. Belgium, the beer culture is about sharing experience, stories and knowledge, and solidarity. For many people, it's a way to identify themselves and gain a sense of belonging and well-being. La bière belge pour moi doit être classée ou parce que la Belgique est mondialement connue pour son savoir-faire dans le dans le milieu brassicole. We hebben hier sinds vele honderden jaren een heel rijk palet aan bieren. Wow, that looks pretty good. Honderden jaren een heel rijk palet aan bieren. That looks nice. It's like really really red. Effectivement, la bière se retrouve dans les familles, elle se retrouve à table, elle se retrouve au café. Et dans notre pays, il y a une culture des cafés qui est vraiment essentielle. Et, et donc cette importance sociale du café est, est primordiale. Et, et la boisson typique du café en Belgique, c'est la bière. Ça fait partie de ma vie, de ma jeunesse, de toute mon histoire. Et euh, je pense de l'histoire de beaucoup de Belges. Donc, hein. Ça fait partie de notre patrimoine. Belgian beer culture may very well be best known for its special beers and craft beers, but it's really the skills, knowledge and relentless creativity of its brewers, together with the appreciation of beer-loving individuals and communities, that guarantee the vibrant vitality of the diverse art of brewing in Belgium. All right, guys, so that was Beer Culture in Belgium. Um, again, you can find the links to the original video in the description section down below. Hit like, hit subscribe on your way down. I'm going to be on the lookout for some more Belgian beer when I when I go out and about. So far, I found Lafay and some Stella Artis. Probably not pronouncing those right, but I'm going to be looking for some more. The ones I've tried, they're pretty good. So, But anyways, you guys have a super fun, awesome time, and I will catch you in the next video. All right, later.